Hello and welcome to my channel, Crafty Pete. So today I'm here with the project share. And this is for the Scrap the World, um, who is Tamika here on the YT. I have a link to her channel down below. Um, she had a um swap on her um on her channel, and it was the what is it called here? Mini loaded envelope swap. Okay, and so it was gonna be a group of three. There wasn't any assigned people, so I guess as she gets them, she's going to I guess the first three go out second three i'm not sure how she's doing that but um so it's a group of three um you know myself and um, myself and two other people so of course i made three for my two partners and then one for tamika so we need to have an envelope which is four by six and in that video she linked to her um tutorial video where she had did a four by six and that's what i use so if you want to see how that's done link on um tamika's channel down below and then then in her comments there's another link to that video. <laughs> okay. Um, we had to do two embellishments with, you know, some um, decorations, I guess you could say. Um, we had to do a sequence mist to match it. We had to do one goodie. And we had to do a 3 by 3 note card with the envelope. Um, but it couldn't be like a regular, um, it couldn't be just like a 3 by 3 It had to be 3 by 3 <laughs> But not the little square 3 by 3 Um... A one free item of choice and then a shape tag with the dangle. Okay, so those are requirements. So let me show you some of the stuff I use now. I also will link down below the actual um, the, the envelope that I use because that was the um, I showed it in my um, Spellbinders clap that I did with Paul Spice. You saw I'll link a video to, the, um, to that video down below um, also, which shows the, um, the envelope itself and, you know, the items that I got on there. So I'm not going to do it in this one because you, you know, see it in that one. But I did use um, these little bling pieces. I used this cute, this is so cute, little cottage cut um, little bag. And I got this in the, um, a B-Stash. You my B-Stash, you love them. I use this Happy Mail stamp and I just use the word Happy Mail. Um, and this one I used um, a surprise for you. And this is a teeny tag holidays. And here I use this thanks for being you and hi there. I think I stamped it just for you, but I don't think I used it. And on here I used that for you. And in here, um, I don't know. Maybe I was going to use it, but I don't know. I don't think I used that. And once um, I did use a di digital collection off of Etsy, and it was called Chasing um, Chasing Rainbows. So I'm going to show you how my swaps come packaged, and then I, I'm going to you know the one I have that's not assembled. So these are my swaps right here, and bring it up a little closer. So this one right here, um, I did this one kind of close to the end, so I didn't like how that looked. So I did this one closer over this way and I think the one I'm gonna do is gonna be closer it hangs better. But these are the two swaps. Uh let's see. So this is how it comes packaged and I'll show you like I said the differences um you know when I'm about to go through everything. So I got that little heart up there. Some little um and I think I showed uh, I don't know I'm gonna have to get the stamp for that one. And that's why I put that a little something for you. And there's that happy meal on that tag. So those are those stamps. Okay. So let me set those to the side and get over the actual um so this is the folder open. So let me get some of the stuff out of here so I can show you what we got going on here. And so that's the envelope um empty. Let me just reach over here, the wretch over here. So I got it right here. So that one stamp that I was trying to tell you about, which is this little envelope, I don't remember if I told you any other one, which is right here. And so I was trying something else. I was watching another video, and they were wrapping, and it was for mini albums, and I just wanted to try it, uh, wrapping, like, the embellishments, and she did um, laminating sheets. But I'm like, and I went to get laminating sheets so I could turn it on, but I'm like, you know what? I remembered I had, because I'm always buying something. This easy liner, um, I don't know from duck, I don't know what's actually what it's called. I'm gonna call it a soft vinyl. <laughs> it's like a, cause it's clear, and then it's sticky on one side, right? And then I have, uh, so I use that. Sit it up right there. Let me see. I think I got some right here. Some 
extra pieces. And so what it happens, I open it, I take it off of there, and I sandwich uh, the embellishment in, inside the two, you know what I'm saying, then I can cut around it. And it's easy, so it's more flexible than um, vinyl. And so this is what I used on this, just to try it out. I, and I, don't, I have to cut this one out, because I want y'all to be able to see what I was talking about. And I just got a sandwich in between there. And then I just actually wrote, because it was made, you know, using here, right? I just put from and then scrappy tape. Okay? And so, like I said, I'm going to link the video where you saw this, because this was that uh, gumball machine for the spellbinders. And then this 3x3. Three three. Now, of course, this is not the 3x3 three three I'm submitting. This just for my information on the idea. Go ahead on and print this off my computer. I just information about me or whatever. And that is that. So those is those. This is my sequence mix right here. I have bought <laughs> um, the, the, uh, sequence dye where you can cut it out from the paper. But I said, let me just go up here and see what I got because I, I wasn't about to buy no sequins. But luckily I had these, you know, in, in a couple of different sequence packings. So I just mixed it together and I was able to get this sequence pack in the match. So I was happy with that because I didn't want to cut all that paper and I didn't want to buy that. And then this is just an embellishment, you know, from my the digital collection. I just um, shrunk it and put it on there with a scrap piece of paper. So that's the um, sequence. This is just a cute little, like, banner thing that I had cut out and I put in there. So this is also from the, um, the uh, embellishments. And I just, you know, traced it and cut that out for a hanging piece. Like I said, here's this one. And this is where I stamped a little something for you. The happy mail that I stamped on this little card from the um, embellishments. And then this and this, um, I just used my scraps because I didn't want to have to uh, print out a whole other sheet of paper. So this is what's going to go on the outside of the bag. And then I, that's where I stamped that for you on another scrap piece. And it's going to go there. This is the bag topper for the bag. And I'm just picking up stuff as I go over here. <laughs> and so this is my two embellishments. Hopefully you can see in here I got the two, uh, they paper rolls yet, so they're not, um, um, 3D, I guess you could say. Those are flat. And then I got that Hello popped up on some foam. I got a little one of the bling piece, and then I got the, um, butterfly. Down here, the same thing. All these are embellishments from that paper collection. And that was a mason jar with the rainbow on it. I put that rosette on there, the paper thin rosette with the flower. Another hello with another bling piece, and then I did that uh, butterfly, and then that's some more of that bling across the um, the top of the jar, like where you open it at. So those are my two embellishments. Uh, let's see, these are just some little goodies. Some just like I shrunk some of the three by four three by four cards in there, and this is have faith in your dreams, and someday your rainbow will come smiling through. And then this one says you make me smile. Okay, so I'm leaving it because I'll tell you about that in a minute. And this little thing right here, now they all are different. Just a little bit. It's some more goodies, some little um, the rainbows and flowers, tags and stuff like that that they can use. So, um, and some other projects. This is where I use that little envelope, that Potter's Cuts envelope. Right there. Put this back in here. Like I said, I want to chill. Uh, Show you all about this unit. So let me grab it. It is right here. Now this is, and I didn't mean to close this up, uh, but I did. So let me just open it up real quick. This is my three by three shaped card, and I did it in the shape of a flower. And so I got a friend's little label. Then I got these other flowers around it with the bling pieces, and it opens up like this. You can write your note. I did this black um, envelope, and I used my envelope punch board. And so what I want to show you, like, so this card right here, I had uh, some extras because I was playing on my new <laughs> uh, Cameo 4, and so I printed out a couple of sheets of these. And so what I did was I just cut this up, you make me smile, and, you know, put the smile black, backed it on some black, and then just put that at the top of it, and that's how I got that. And this is just some paper for that. Um, let me see something up my ring there. And, <laughs> and so that's how I got that right there. So just remember, you can cut those up and go about the exact okay so that is my three by three with the envelope okay this is my um tag so on the tag we had to have a hanging element and then we had to have two in front 
So I made a rainbow and then I uh, popped up, uh, the, uh, um, I cut out extra clouds, you know, did a tracing, tracing, detaching, all that good stuff, got it out, popped up those uh, clouds, put the to and from on there, and then made um, some of these little tags smaller, and that's one of them little, I don't know what you call these little bug paper clip type things, safety pins or whatever. And this, this little tag says, over the rainbow, and then I got one of the rainbows right there. And then this is, I tried that paper again, and this, and the stamp set I told you I used. So this is that hi there, and then this is thanks for being you. And so I came with this after the fact, so I just, um, instead I wish I would have sandwiched it between this rainbow and the white paper that I behind it. But, you know, after the fact, so I just made this little, and people have done before, whatever you want to call this little thing, this little hanging piece. <laughs> To hang it on there like that and then of course i left some so they can hang it on the bag if they wanted to or whatever the case may be and that's my hanging element so that's my tag and then i just put on some scrap right there that is that and so then we had to have a goodie and this is my store-bought goodie now this store-bought goodie i wanted it to fit in the uh envelope so what I did was got it and I just cut the sides off. So I went up because it wasn't that much over. So and I'm just you know because I wanted to show you. Uh, well, I guess I should have showed you. Well, I did fit <laughs> why I did this, huh? What? Sorry. Okay. So I had to make it smaller. And then it'll fit right back there. That way it'll be all in the thing. Because, you know, this is going to be too big for it. Well, I guess I could have shown see. I guess I probably would have did an angle. But that was just too much. Like what? Even better it probably went easier. But I'm putting the other stuff in there. Yeah, don't judge me. I can do what I want to do. <laughs> okay. So that is my um, swap for Tamika's um, mini uh, envelope. And like I said, so I'll put all this back in here. So I get it on nice and cute like. And eventually, here momentarily, it will be packaged. Not like this one. I like this one because I'm going to have it closer, um, closer over. Of course, I'm going to have to cut, you know, cut that. But that's it, y'all. That is my swap. Hopefully, whoever ends up being my partner, they enjoy everything and like it. And that is all I have for right now. So I'm guessing on to my next swap project. Whatever it takes. I'll see you all later.